swing your arms from side to side. Do -do 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 Hello, folks. How you doing today? Let me make sure my volume is good. That's a little low. There we go. Do do ba ba. Sunshine. Do 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 do. Queen, how are you doing today? Hey, uh, if you're up for it, uh, you're free to co-commentate with me today. I welcome the company. Super Mario Not sure what your time is looking like. Cool. All right, awesome. I'm gonna jump into the a chatty chat. Oh! Oh, there's people in there. I'm just gonna go to gaming. Other folks can come in too if they wanna. I'm just gonna be eating the Dario. Hi! Yay. Cool. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go get me a Yoshi. off of the chat box. Gotta fix that real quick. I didn't do it on purpose. Sorry! <laughs> mm. Alright, there, there we go. There we go. Just eat your arms. And then again. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I <laughs> didn't know about it until that. <laughs> hey, Max and me. Welcome. Let's go find us a Yoshi egg. Where'd you go? Where's the Yoshi egg? Oh, you need... Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll share that. OBS. All right, it's my old, it's my uh, older brother's birthday, so I talked to him for a good bit. We had a very good talk, very, very good. It was good to hear from him. Yeah, <laughs> John's was uh two days ago. Yeah, uh, his and Bowie's are just two days apart. It's easy. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, Sean didn't really want anything. He's, he, he's, he does well enough, he, and he doesn't uh, have super expensive tastes where, where he's like, if I want if I want something, I'm just going to get it. We're, we're pretty samey in that. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty alike in that regard where we're like, ah, oh, we want a video game every once in a while, and they tend to last us long enough to afford another one when we want to get one. That kind of thing. Alright. Oh, hi! Hi, sister. We're talking about. S Speaking of siblings. It's, it's my, uh, it's Bowie's birthday today. Uh, and it was Sean's two days ago, so yay. Siblings. Uh, we we did some streaming uh, with several people. He streamed for like, I think like eight hours. Not in a row, but he did he did six in a row. And then later on we did some uh, Among Us with some other streamers. So yeah, it was a, and he, woo, 
he you know he's awesome in the kaizo community that it's such an amazing community of people uh they he ended up getting raided by hundreds of people i think like 128 or something maybe more yeah he usually has you know yeah he usually has like five to ten on his channel at a time but he's he's gotten he's gotten he's built those connections in that community and they all came together and you know just spent time with him it's really awesome I, it makes me want to play more kaizo because yeah it's 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 such a the impression i get from the kaizo community is it's a bunch of people trying their best to get better to build a skill at something and people are, everyone's encouraging of each other because they all know and feel how hard it is <laughs> Oh, so it's uh, like Super Mario World, but ROM hacks of it with really, really difficult levels. Like, really crazy hard. It, and like techniques like that you don't ever see used in the base game. Uh, like shell jumping. Uh, like, like you pick up a shell, then you jump and throw it at a wall, then you jump off of it, then collect another shell, and then that kind of th <laughs> that kind of stuff. Oh. Uh -huh. I played, I've beaten three of them, but they were, uh, I, I, I think they were very hard, but I, you see some of the more advanced stuff, it's like, oh, this is like the kiddie pool of uh, what, what I'm playing. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, please tell me my nightmare is over. You can save me. I don't know why, but just look very, you just look very capable to me. Listen. It all started around noon. This giant manta-shaped thing showed up. It was this paper-thin floating silhouette. This is a reference to a Stephen King story, I think, right? The, the, yeah, the manta ray thing is like a weird Stephen King reference in, uh, in Mario Sunshine. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then, oh, the horror, my beautiful hotel, my poor building. It sank in the middle of the awful ooze. Why me? Why? Now I've got the staff cleaning up, but where is my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and... <gasps> oh, it's back! That gossamer ghoul! Do something! Yeah, this this boss... And I remember playing it the first time, I was like, this feels awesome and out of place for Mario. Just because of Steven... Uh-huh. Yeah. Poor Ray. Had to go. Yeah, it's it's awesome. What an inventive boss fight. It was nice to it's nice to see something so same thing with um that that plant UFO y kinda of boss in um in Odyssey. It's like that one feels a just out of left field for Mario style. I love it. Ah, I'm dying. I need coins. I just jump in the ocean. Get some health. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Eat your arms and then you know. <laughs> I, Alex. Do <laughs> eat the yeah. Go 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 eat the Mario. <laughs> I am God, and then again, <laughs> I, I am God. Do 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 do, just like that. <laughs> For those, are you talking to someone? Says final final boss fight five. Yes. Oh, you're not hearing Queen. Ow. Oh goodness, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I've been talking to no one, it sounds like. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> we got the desk. There's the desktop audio. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I've been talking crazy to myself for a little while. <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Crazy, the two voices in your head. <laughs> I'm gonna for those of though for those people who don't know what we were referencing, I'm just gonna play this. Uh I think you guys can hear my desktop audio. And then again. Here we go. 
<laughs> it was uh, Vinny from Vine Sauce doing the Mario theme. <laughs> eat the Mario. Or eat your arms. <laughs> Lovely. Alright. Burby! Splurb! How was that, baby? Coming in, and she's very itchy. Oh, baby, she'll be pretty again. She has a bunch of cookies. Oh, scratch them off. Mm. Oh. 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 Blah, blah, blah. Let's fight this thing again. Are there no coins in this area? If I get, if I get hit, I'm just out of luck. Whoa. Well, you, you collected them all before talking to the dude, so. Oh, there they are. Yeah, you're right. I had gotten a bunch of them from the palm trees. My bad. Should have thought. Should have thunk about that. Whoops. Ah! Oh no. <laughs> I was right in the middle. <laughs> nah, that's a big Fanta. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh. Manta. The manta's in. We'll call you Fairy Mantelo. <laughs> What's an array? Cut. Fairy coins. Are you little... I'm gonna get you. <laughs> go, God, go, 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 kill the baby. Oh, it doesn't pay taxes. Oh, okay, bye. Come here. Oh, hey, hey, hello, sir. Baby! Babies! <laughs> kill the baby. Aim at it. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'll have to do that. Fine, I'll, I'll just go away. It's, I think it's gonna avoid me till I leave it alone. Splash. What's uh, jump splash? What? <laughs> also, yes, welcome Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. I thought it was a play on Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, cool. Awesome. Oh, I'm out of water. No wonder. Oh no. Stop being electric. No, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> you didn't get water when you were in the... <laughs> You're right, I didn't think. <laughs> I didn't thunk it. Okay. This time for sure. I'll, I'll fix I'll fix what when I notice. Uh, oh, pooey. Okay. Oh, oh. Ow. Sir, Sam, Sam, what are you doing? Fine, I will uh, turn both of... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Alright, uh, I'll need to turn y'all down a little bit on my end. I just have to decrease the OBS, or the, uh... Turn down for, turn down for what? Turn down for what? Like, y'all are... Turn down for what? Y'all are louder on my end. That's the thing. Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh no. How do I how do I fix that? Like if I mess with a volume mixer for Discord, it's gonna turn y'all back down. 
I don't know. Hmm. Chat, let us I don't, know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to fix this. Fine. I'll just it's deal. It's okay. We'll just scream. I'll just deal. Chat, fix all our problems for us. <laughs> oh. Hello, tech support. <laughs> Pressing jump and using flood at the same time. Oh, maybe that's probably a thing. Is that the ball thing that you get? Thing. Like I, I've been using, yeah, I've been using the hover nozzle. Come on, screen, come back. There we go. Yeah, so you can jump and use flood at the same time like that. If that's what you mean. Okay. <laughs> Skills. Yeah. It's good. I was really talking about the the jump, and you go in a circle. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. I just don't know how to pull it off well. Eat the Dario. Stop. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I think I, I think I got it. I think I got it uh, okay. fixed for you guys. Uh, my desktop okay. audio slider on OBS was very low, so that's that's uh -huh. what the volume is. Okay. Hooray! Hooray! Okay. I'm so happy. I oh, am Jesus. God. I am God, and then you know. Come on, go go, go go, do the Mario. <laughs> the Mario. <laughs> like it sounds like he, he like corrects himself, <laughs> but it sounds like he was about to say like yeah. go Mario, but then he's like go Mario, go go, go go. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't have time to say the rest of that word, so I'm just gonna scat it. <laughs> scat the rest of it. Very quick thinking, Benny. <laughs> right. <laughs> is, is the Super Mario Super Show still on Netflix? Oh, I don't Probably. know. Because it, it, it was on Netflix for a little bit. Super Mario but... Brothers Super Show. <laughs> what was hey there, the... Paisanos. Yeah. What was that one bit where uh, he was like, and if you and if you do that, you'll go to hell before you die. Oh, oh the drug <laughs> Yeah, the drug <laughs> yeah, do drugs. <laughs> you'll go to hell before you die. <laughs> then it was Mario. <laughs> oh, Lou. It's like Pee Wee Herman as well. This is this crap. Is crap. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Pee Wee. <laughs> the Super Mario Brothers Super Show is on Netflix still, and it's... Yep. This is crack. He said the word! He said the magic word! <laughs> the word of the day is crack. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> What is, what is that from? I've heard it before. I've heard it mean. Uh, it was a... I can't remember who did the ad, but it was sponsored by, by McDonald's. Oh! Oh! Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Very direct. Real. They're dividing into smaller units. I, I feel like... It, it's Flood and Baby Bowser and this this one the same voice actor. I have no idea. Yeah, this is when uh, Baby Bowser showed up and was like, Peach is my mom, and Peach was like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that she didn't dispute it for a second. She just was like, I'm your mama. Not like, that couldn't be possible. She was like, oh, okay, there's a possibility there. Sexy. But, uh... <laughs> No, they're different people. Peach and It's confirmed. <laughs> in Super Mario Sunshine. But, um, oh, they are different people. Okay, they they yeah. have like they kind of sound the same. Just the the way, yeah, the way they sound. They have that kind of nasally kind of kittiness to them. Yeah, Flood is Kit Harris, and Bowser Jr. is Dolores Rogers. Yeah. Both would make great darker eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, do you two know the story of how Charles Martinet got the role of Mario? No. So, what happened is, is that, um, I think he was at like some event or something with his friend, and they were holding auditions for like video game Mario there, for like, just all the games, and um, he, they'd literally just finished the auditions, and Charles was like, hey, can I give it a try? And they're just like, oh, but we just put the equipment away, and they're just like, oh, come on, please, give me a try. And they're like, okay, okay, so they set it back up again, and they sit him in front of the camera, and they just say, like, okay, so you're an Italian chef from Brooklyn, go. And the audition ends when you stop speaking, basically. And he says that what he was thinking in his head is like, okay, well, he's thinking back to how Mario's been portrayed before, yeah. but he was thinking um, if this is going to be a video game for kids, maybe a voice like that would be a bit too grating. Yeah. So he did the voice. <laughs> yeah, so he did the voice that, like, um, you know, he does now, and he just went on this whole, like, half hour rant thing about, like, how Mario was going to put, like, his meatballs on his pizza and all this, and just, like, this whole half hour thing. And then the audition, auditioning guys just went, stop, 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 we've run out of tape, and we'll let you know. And he went off thinking, okay, well, whatever. And apparently they immediately went to, like, the casters and just went, like, we've got our Mario. That was <laughs> it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's wonderful. He's, he's such a... He's so wonderful. I love Charles Martin. Oh, he's so wholesome. Uh-huh. He's like, he's he's Nintendo's Mickey Mouse. I... Uh, he... There's a show on Netflix, uh, I think it's called High Score, uh, where he's he's the narrator. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, every episode's a different uh, kind of game or a different game. Uh, one was on Street Fighter, one was, I think maybe one was on Pac-Man or something. Uh, yeah. And yeah, he's the, he's the Morgan Freeman of that show. Who's in Skyrim? Awesome. I love Parthenax. Parthenax. Oh, cool, that's awesome. Was, Parthenax was the nice dragon, right? Yeah, you good dragon. Okay, <laughs> Well, that's awesome. I, I wouldn't have guessed at all, because he, he does a good deep voice for him. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a me, Parthenax. <laughs> Yay, that's wonderful. The stream stopped. Ah! Oh, what? It stopped? Why? Yeah, on, on Discord. Discord. <laughs> oh, no, why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know things. Okay. Do you think we know technology? <laughs> Is that better? Oh, I can cle clean off that one big shine in the middle t middle of town now. The hotel lobby secret. Ooh, what's the secret? What would you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> so, would you like to hear a fun cafe story? Is it, uh... Cafe from uh, Majora's Mask. No. Cafe <laughs> and Anju. A beautiful romance story in that game. Yes, I want to hear a cafe story. Well, this is far from a romance. So, um, there's a cafe um in my town or my village that has been around for years, but I've never been to it. But yeah. now I'm an adult with money and freedom. So I'm just like, okay, well, let's go to the cafe. Um, so I go to the cafe, um, and I've been twice now. The first was last week, and the second one was two days ago. And they do an all-day breakfast there. So first time I go and get it, I notice that like it's clearly like a regular place for old people or like people who are just on their lunch break or whatever. It's a nice place, and like there's two staff members there, and they're just sweethearts, and they're really nice. So two days ago, I go back, and. I was just sat there waiting for the food and these three people come in and just sit around a table. 
Now, they look normal, but something in my mind just goes, something's gonna happen. Like, I just got this weird bad vibe from them. I was like, something's gonna happen. But it's whatever. So I get my food, and as I'm just finishing it, I just hear this clatter in front of me. And I'm like, oh god, did they drop something? So I look up, and I'd seen that the guy had just, like, thrown his knife and fork onto the plate that he'd just gotten. And he gets out a ten pound note and passes it to one of the cafe women who's just come over and she he just goes, Okay, well I'm paying for it, but I'm not gonna eat it. And she's like, Oh well, if you want us to do it again, it's fine, it's fine. He's like, No, no, it's fine, it's fine. So she just walks off and then all three of them just get up and walk out. And like they all get drinks as well, and none of them have touched the drinks, they all just get up and walk out. So the other cafe lady, who I actually didn't see the first time uh, I was there, she comes out from around the back and goes out and says something like, um, excuse me, sir, L listen, I know you're mad and we want everyone to leave here happy, but to be fair, you did ask for it scrambled and not poached, so if you want us to change it, we can. But they get into this massive argument and he just gets really, really angry. She starts getting a bit heated. He walks off and she just screams after them, I hope you go to hell! <laughs> oh, why? And I'm just like, I'm sat there like, because none of the other people are like, you know, paying any attention to this. So I'm just sat there like, what the fuck is happening? And <laughs> she turns, yeah, she turns around and like sees me like looking really shocked. And she and the other woman both explain that he'd been there a few weeks before, and like done the same. He just like um complains about everything, and then they're like, what would you like us to fix it? He's like, oh no, it's fine, I guess, kind of thing. <laughs> just being really rude. And yeah, so any. <laughs> God, yeah. God. So, yeah, and then she was like, I'm really sorry. I hope you don't have like a bad impression of me now. And I'm just like, no, it, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, any aspirations of me working in a cafe have been destroyed by that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. Like the food service industry just scares me in general. Yeah. It's like it's, the most stressful yeah. job I've ever done. Well, okay, maybe not the most stressful, but it was... It was up there. I didn't like it. Yeah. Up, 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 up. I'm, a, I'm a people person in different ways. <laughs> I'm serving food. I, I have... Oh, I, I still have, like flashbacks of one time I was working in this uh, working in Cracker Barrel and uh, mm. good food, I, I love their food I never, even working there didn't turn me off of their amazing food but um, lips no! <laughs> rocketed to the ground oh. but uh, this <laughs> this group of um, I think it was French people came in and uh, it was a big group it was a very busy night, and I just kept messing up their order, and oh, it was the worst. And like, I could, they they were like they were not mean about it or anything. Like they they were actually yeah. very like nice. Uh, like they uh, under you, you could tell that they were in, uh, you like upset in their own way, but they weren't being mean about it. But oh. Yeah the worst just just repeatedly messing up someone's order and bringing them out stuff they they didn't uh do the yeah. wrong thing i i did that two times those are the, those are the things that stuck with me when i would uh mess up a customer's order this admit again oh the uh, hate it no that's like my biggest fit because like when I make a mistake or something, I hold on to it for weeks, so oh. it's just like, that's, a, that's a, such a apparently, yeah, apparently me too. For years after I don't have the job anymore. <laughs> uh, and it was like, honest mistake, but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just one of those, I don't want to be in that situation again. Because like my friend, um, my friend's in chat right now, and he was there when this happened. But we went to um, a TGI Fridays for Comic Con, like the day before it started. And I don't know how they messed this up, but for some reason they brought us the desserts up first before the actual meal. Hi guys, hey Dork Princess and DDPX. <laughs> yeah, they brought the desserts before the meal. Lovely. Yeah, they brought the desserts out, and like, you know. 
people at that table, people at our table were like obviously a bit pissed as well. They didn't give us refills for like, the whole night. But then part of me thinks of like being the person who like brings the stuff out and thinking, oh shit, I fucked up really badly. <laughs> it's just like, oh, good trying. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's go get that, uh, let's clean up the shine in the center of town. Oh, bye don't. <laughs> oh, bye bye! Where'd you go? He just... <laughs> oh, might be their internet, actually. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> there you are! <laughs> actually, I remember on Reddit, I, um, I saw this story of... It was like this kid, and he was over like a bunch of other kids on like a school trip, and the teachers took them to this restaurant. And the thing they do when they're on a school trip and take them to a restaurant is that they'll all tip their server three dollars each. So for the server, that totals up to like a hundred dollar tip, which is really good. And it's just a nice thing that they do. But one night they were planning on doing it, but the server just kept giving them like these really dirty looks. And then I think they came over to the table and just said like, you know. Oh my god, I've had enough of all of you st stop causing trouble. When they weren't doing anything, so like, the teachers just heard that and were just like, don't, don't tip that woman at all. And she never got a tip, she missed out on a hundred dollar tip, because she was... Oh, it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I understand, like, um, getting nervous about, like, you know, a big table of kids, because... When my friend, when my friend Chris came to visit me, um, we had a meal at this hotel, and um, and there was like this whole massive like group of about like thirty boys who were on this like sports trip, and they were like twelve years old, and we could not get a word in edgeways because they were so fucking loud. <laughs> Ugh, boys. <laughs> no, boys, gross. With their penises. <laughs> you got the shine. Do what? You got the shine. I did. <laughs> Blay. I'm just playing, folks. I've... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got, got no... got no problem with that, uh, that area of the body. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the wanted posters of Mario up when they know he's on the island? <laughs> right. Well, it's weird, because, like... He's he's wanted, but they instead of keeping him in jail, they just cast him with uh, cleaning up the island. Yeah. But they've also seen me chasing uh, baby Bowser Mario several times at this point. Mm -hmm. So it's community uh, service, the game. Yeah. <laughs> Clean the pollution by spraying it into the ocean, I guess. That's it's how the ocean's the problem now. <laughs> People are I singing walking their, in sunshine. Their same the logic with Splatoon. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Apparently, ink just dissolves completely yeah. <laughs> without a trace in water. Well, uh, maybe you can make. Maybe there are some kind of water-based inks. I don't know. Is that a mm -hmm. thing, or is all is all kind of kind of inky paint oil? Based. Cause yeah. I guess it depends on the ink and what it's made of. Yeah, because I mean they're like water-based, like lubricants and stuff. Because there's toxic inks and some. Yeah, so I'm I'm wondering if you can make like water-soluble yeah. inks that are safe. Yeah, so that'd be fun, like playing live live action splatoon with like water water soluble ink. <laughs> it's uh not bad for the environment. 
Ooh, it's red chunks. Yeah. It does seem that someone is lacking the proper training. Well, I mean, they're staying on the road. That's pretty close cool, right? Well, that's bloody. <laughs> Observing. I am just observing. Mm -hmm. I have never owned a dog in my life. <laughs> Doggy! What a good dog! Oh, they go look terrible! Oh, chomps. I would have to have the of a cat person. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, gotta, gotta keep her. Road cleaned after I wash them off because they'll, uh, what? yeah, if they hit uh, more lava, they'll become fire dogs again. That's so stupid. Yeah. Yes, it makes sense. It makes sense. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be. Ah, okay. Try cooling its head off. That is the goal. Doing this. Ah, dog! <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys watched any of the Something About series? Uh, no. no. <laughs> so this uh, animator, this animation team, YouTube, has like Something About Super Mario World and Something About Yoshi's Island, and they're really funny. Uh, a lot of it's like... Um, so a lot of them are like uh, using like speed run uh, techniques as uh, like comedy premises. Yep. Like, there's something about Mario 64 where he's doing like the infinite backwards jump to get through the walls and stuff, and uh, it's really good, really good comedic timing and stuff. Like nice. I like how these change helps with little butts. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. Right. Babies. <laughs> Good. Drown them. <laughs> because they have braces. <laughs> also, Dawn has fallen into the abyss. Yeah, sounds like Dawn's having some connection. Well, they're gonna leave anyway, so. Oh, Alright, later, Dawn. Now it's just me. Fear. <laughs> and unfortunately, I've never played any of the games on this package. <laughs> oh, well. Cool. Actually, that's a lot. I think I played a tiny bit of Galaxy in my friend's week, but that was it. Oh, I, you know what I think I'm supposed to do? I feel like I'm supposed to grab them after I, after I cool them down. Take one. Hi, baby. Oh, I gotta put you somewhere, baby. Where do I put you? Oh, is that like a? Oh no! Ah! There you go. I guess I, I gotta corral them. Probably. That's what's going on. I was wondering why they just kept igniting. Let's let's see where we gotta Whoa. put them. Is it like the color on them or something? Uh, I think I'm supposed to bring them here. Oh. Let's oh, see. okay. You. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Dobby doesn't exist. It's just clean. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta clean every day. Your things will get slippery and dangerous. Yeah, I like hate how you can do that voice so well. Yay! <laughs> <Hey, hey. laughs> Oh god, so um, <laughs> I was in a call before and I found this um, Reddit thread and it was like um, full of like things that non-British people find weird about British people and one of the top ones was called, but it was the one that like pretty much fucked everyone over because they'd never heard of it. It was courtroom wigs. Which I knew wasn't a thing in America but apparently like nobody in the call had ever heard of it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, um, in. If you're a lawyer, like a normal lawyer, you have to wear this, like, really short, sort of, like, white, um, curly wig. 
But if you're a judge, it's like a very long one that like goes past your shoulders. Mm. And you have to wear it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Apparently there's a thing like if the case is to do with a child, then you're allowed to take them off. But like if it's to do with an adult, then you have to keep them. <laughs> it says grab their tails and spike them into the ground. Why not try grabbing the tail and snapping it? I did that, but uh, then what? Maybe I can just push it into the water over here and it'll stay. A little, it's a little bit obtuse in this game. Like, I, 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 playing it again, I, I had the same thought last time I played through it. I think this is probably the most difficult 3D Mario. Yeah. There you go. Stay in there, buddy. He loves it. He's drowning. Oh, hey, look at him. He's shiny. He's, <laughs> He's got little stars on him. He's happy. See? You teased him. <laughs> stars in there. If it was if it was cuckoo stars, then yeah, he'd be pleased. But the little shiny stars mean they're they're glad. <laughs> Darby murdered the man. Oh, it's okay. Out. He's happy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him sleeping. He's passed out. <laughs> knocked him out. <laughs> nice puppy dog. You gotta go on the wow -wow. So, I love everyone's helping you. Like you've got to snap it. La la la. You killed it. <laughs> <laughs> Dead day. Touch it, get some spice. Yes, good. Good. Ooh. All dogs go to heaven, though. Yeah, I guess so. I've never seen that film. It's I've seen uh, clips. It's, disjointed. it's cute, yeah. but it's also. Uh, it feels like there was an intent, a direction, but then he, probably the studio got involved and made them change direction. It's, yeah. It definitely seems like it was going to be uh, a bit closer to like the adulty feel of um, Sacred of Nim. Oh, yeah. Which, but uh, then th th it feels like the studio is like, make it more kid friendly. So, yeah, there, there are parts of it that just feel like out of place and like the direction change. So, like it starts with a, with, with, him, with a prison break, basically. And then it gets, <laughs> it gets a lot more kid friendly, but there's still a lot of weird and scary stuff that uh, fits with uh, like Don Bluth mm. style. But yeah, it seems like there were two different competing directions for it. Don's original vision and then the, what the studio wanted. And then the sequel happened. <laughs> yeah. I knew that happened. I don't remember much of it. I just know the boy was like a magician. Yeah. It's just the classic excuse of, oh, we have to have a sequel because the main character needs a love interest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Il Pientissimo's Crazy Climb. Crazy. Yeah. What a weird character to have Pientissimo. <laughs> it's a dude in Tianta cosplay who likes to run. It's me, Il Pientissimo, and now listen. See that flag over there? I do! I bet I get there before you do. <laughs> now you and I shall race to get there the fastest. Yes! 
My personal record is 30 seconds. Impressive, eh? Are you at the ready? Then get set and go! Oh. Right. Speed. No better way to travel than on your belly. You. Go, go, go. Ah! No! No! <laughs> I almost fell off. <laughs> Yay! And yink! Do -do 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 -do. Yeah! Oh, yes! Uh, grr! Yes! Grr! That was not so bad. You you are quick, yes! I don't know what he's supposed to sound like, but... I suppose maybe I underestimated you a small bit. Perhaps. You try again after you practice more. Till then... Okay. Shiny. Give yourself a shiny. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Because it's a video game, DDPX. You do things that you can't normally do. If you could do them. <laughs> so, what's a film that you watched from your childhood, like an animated one, that you look back now and think, yo, that was really dark? Um, okay, uh, let me... I have, to, I have to think on that. Um, well... Apparently we watched Watership Down a lot as a kid. I don't remember. <laughs> I, like, I, yeah, I, I remember seeing it later, but I don't remember seeing it as a kid. Uh, but I mean, that one was definitely. Uh... Mine, actually, I realized recently was the Tom and Jerry movie. Yeah. Because um, I didn't remember until recently when I was watching the clip that mm -hmm. like. They did a kind of like death scare at the end where they make you think that Tom and Jerry got burned to death in a house or something. Oh! <laughs> oh, I have so much blood for this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I remember, I think I used to have nightmares about like um, the scene where they get put in like the. Um, what is it? Like the kennels? Where they get put in the kennels? And they, I don't. It was like this whole, it was like this whole scene. Okay, so basically, the premise of it is that Tom, um, Tom and his family are like moving out of the house they're in, but they accidentally leave Tom behind. Um, so he and Jerry are out on the streets, and they meet this girl who's run away from home, and the girl's mum is dead, and the dad's gone missing. So she's living with like her auntie or something, who's like evil. <laughs> this is the money one, right? Yeah, the money yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I but there's a... see it, just that scene. Yeah, but there's a part in it where um, I think Tom and Jerry like break something in the house because like the woman's just like, oh, okay, you can keep them, and then they break something, so she sends them to the kennel, and then like it makes it out to be like, oh yeah, it's a nice place for pets, and it turns out to be just like a prison, basically. And I used to have nightmares about that place all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't seen the Tom and Jerry movie, sadly. I should someday. That one scene is funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a really good film. Money. Money. Oh, but the only thing about it is... The only stupid thing about it is Tom and Jerry talk in it. So. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> they sing a song about friendship or something. Like that. There's a lot of songs in that film. <laughs> It's like the whole 
justification for why Tom and Jerry talk and the two of them never knew was just like, well, you never asked me. <laughs> yeah. We were so busy chasing each other, we never had time for conversation. <laughs> But there was that one, and then I think there was another one called. I haven't seen this one in years. It was like Tom and Jerry in the Magic Ring. Yeah. And it's like, there's this like wizard or whatever who has this magic ring, and Jerry puts it on his head, but it gets stuck on his head. So the whole thing is like Tom having to chase Jerry around to try and get the ring back. Oh, I guess I gotta get up there. There we go. I see. I the see. The Goofy Inferno. Goofy <laughs> Doof. Well, it looks like we have to clear up the goop. <laughs> Mario, you see, it appears you're getting into too much crime as of late. <laughs> can, can you please stop? I do not want to spend another night in jail. <laughs> the prison food is disgusting, Mario. <laughs> I need my nutrients. <laughs> Despicable Me 2 was traumatic. I never watched Despicable Me 2. No, either. Ah, oh, this is gonna burn! Oh, come on. <laughs> Okay, bye. One of the films I've been wanting to see out of like genuine curiosity if anything is the <laughs> the frigging Willy Wonka film, which is literally just Willy Wonka but with Tom and Jerry in the background. Oh, yeah, I've seen reviews for it. <laughs> They, the, like, the one scene that they did amazingly was the, uh, tunnel scene. God. Tuffy is doing the, <laughs> doing the Willy Wonka cre creepy speech. <laughs> it says, are the fires of hell a-glowing? <laughs> the cute little mouse. Yes, the dangers keep on growing because the rowers keep on rowing and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! <laughs> I don't know what it was, but my dad always used to take the piss out of the Umpalumbas in that scene and how they did like the rowing thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Woo! You got a blue coin. <laughs> I got the Maybe. Maybe this part. Yeah, I think this might work. Ooh. This is, uh, the controllers are so weird for uh, his climbing. Cause like, uh, when you're, when you're on the side of something, uh, you press Y to punch it. When you're on, when you're below something, you have to press B to, to kick it. If you press Y, you'll let go. So, like the punching mechanic is switched up, switched to the uh, drop mechanic if you're if, if you're hanging, which is a terrible decision on their part, I think. Yeah. They do that. Oh, yes. oh my God! <laughs> There's blood. All right. There you are. Yes. Yay. That's glittery. Time to clean up 
<laughs> Actually, another film that I find this is gonna sound really weird, but one of the films I find a bit dark thinking about it is the first like big animated album in the Chipmunks film. Yeah. Because it's the whole thing that it's like clarified so much from beginning to end that the Chipmunks are supposed to be children. Yeah. And then when you see how like Ian treats them in the end, um, to the point where like you know they've lost their voices completely, they're like falling asleep on the job, and it's just like, oh babies, no. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, animated one, I guess. Or the yeah, the live 3D action? one. Oh, so the live action. The live action one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just know that David Cross hated working on him, so he just his performances are hilarious. It's <laughs> like he didn't <laughs> want to be there, so he's super sarcastic about everything. Oh yeah. He's <laughs> like, yep, I'm contractually obligated to do two more of these pieces of crap, so I'm just gonna give <laughs> this like this hateful performance. <laughs> I can so see it when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> David Cross reminds me of my brother, the one whose birthday it is. <laughs> did, you, did you ever see his show? Uh, it's called Mr. Joe. It was a sketch comedy show with uh, Bob Odenkirk and uh, Tom hmm. Kenny was in it as well. Uh, uh, back in, I think it was, it was like the late 90s, maybe early 2000s. Uh, it's silly, it's very adult, but it's, it's very funny. <laughs> I think they ran out of ideas after the first season, though. It got, like, uh, not bad, but just kind of like eh, I don't remember a lot of the I don't yeah. remember a lot of funny after the first season. No, that's fair. I'm just trying to think of Alvin and the Chipmunks now and how scarily the amount I can remember and quote from it. Because <laughs> it's one of those films where it's like you know the second and third film, which I didn't even bother watching the third film. Was, from what I heard it was really bad, but the first one's like pretty charming for what it was. See the squeak walls? No! Oh, I hated the second film. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never take us alive! Alvin, they just did. <laughs> it also felt like, uh. uh I mean, uh, or, uh, Dave, is it Jason Lee? The actor, the guy, who, my name is Earl. He, he seemed, he seemed so not invested. This <laughs> is <says> Dave. <laughs> God. Well, this is paying the bills. I guess I'll do this. <laughs> the, the... I think everyone kind of knew it was a disaster from the beginning. Oh yeah, because from what I remember, um, when they were filming it, because obviously the chipmunks weren't really there, they'd have like these models of like these stuffed chipmunks instead. <laughs> Yay. We had to talk for those. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'd rather not remember the Emoji movie, but now you've brought it up. <laughs> I have not watched it. I don't care to. I have... I watched a review of it. It's... It's like... Well, here's the thing is that, like... I can't remember any of the Emoji's names, but, like, one of them... Is like, okay, well, I want to go to the cloud because it's apparently a really nice place. And it's this whole thing of where it's like, you know, it's a valid dream to have. If you want to go there and find yourself and have a great time, go for it. But no, they get there and one of the guys is like, oh, well, I don't want to go there. And she completely ditches the cloud for him because she's in love with him. It's like, for fuck's sake, don't give up on your dream just because you have feelings for someone. Yeah, it seems like that's. Like, it kind of, yeah, it sidelines the uh, girl character's 
desires. That's what I've, I've heard. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be a princess. Okay, I'll be a princess. <laughs> and then the girls, you can't have dreams about a man. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just the, just the cash grabbiest of cash grabs. <laughs> No, not good. emoji movie the musical. Never emoji movie the musical. <laughs> yeah, no thank you. It in this one. Drown the lava. Mm -hmm. You know, if you wanted to convince kids that picking up trash and cleaning pollution is fun, uh, make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's tedious. It's hard work, and that's all. Even if you didn't do it, you gotta fix it. <laughs> it's true. There are bad players who were doing this. You gotta take care of it because some people suck. <laughs> oh, um, another film which it's kind of dark. Yeah, Bridge to Terabithia. Yeah, I remember the original. I, I saw the remake, uh, but yeah, I remember the original too, which I think I prefer. I was unaware there was an original. Yep, they made it back in the 80s, I think. Back in the 80s. Oh, sure. It wasn't as, uh, they didn't have the imagination stuff going on. Uh, the, like, CG imaginary stuff going on. They, but they, you know, they went to their... They, they went to the woods and were just... You, you could see that they were imagining and they, like, made these flower crowns and stuff. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because here's the thing what I love about that film is that it wasn't this whole like massive build up to where oh she had like a serious illness or whatever and they didn't show the death. It yeah. was the very sudden she's gone. Which let's be real, that happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a very kind of realistic way die suddenly. Yeah. So your friend had an accident and died. Yeah. Been through that. It sucks. It's, it's very much like that. It's hard to believe that it happened. Yeah. I just love films that deal with the whole concept of imagination and stuff. Yeah. So like when he's running through like the woods and like the shadow things chasing him and it turns out to be his dad, I really love that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, game, gamer kid. Uh, let's let's not do that, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't think of a whole lot of disturbing 
animated stuff. Like, unless you count Grin and Stimpy, it was just marked it as funny, but it did have its disturbing moments. Movie wise, yeah. I can't, can't think of any besides them. Oh! I found this video recently about an anime in Japan called Minky Momo or something. And it was a magical girl anime. Yeah. It was a magical girl anime about this like um princess from like the planet of dreams or whatever. And she gets sent to Earth to try and like reunite the planets. Um and her like magical power thing is that she can t she's like twelve years old or something, but she can turn into like an older girl and each time she does that she has like a sort of different occupation, like a firefighter or a doctor and she saves the day or whatever. Um, and she has to collect these gems or something, and if she collects all them, the planet's real life. But they got picked up very quickly for toy branding, um, and then out of nowhere the toy branding just got dropped. So they decided to say a big fuck you to the toy branding to kill her off! Ah! Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. So they got rid of her magic powers, next episode she got hit by a truck and got killed. What? And then <laughs> they set they set it up so basically when she like came to Earth, she brainwashed this random couple into believing that that was their daughter. Ah! And then she was like, she was reborn then as like their actual daughter. <laughs> and the thing is, is that like they tried to end the series like that, but because they technically had like twenty episodes left to do, they wouldn't let them end the series. So they had to carry on as though nothing had happened, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that's some that's some vindictive stuff. This is this is our this is our idea. No toys for you. <laughs> this is what you get for trying to capitalize on our idea. We're gonna kill her. <laughs> God. What what am I supposed to be doing here? Am I supposed to be cleaning up all the room for very different goal? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like when it came to like um, when it was localized it was renamed princess Gigi oh. but the thing is it got an English dub but like um I think whoever like distributed it like lost the rights so it's been taken down like there's only a few like lost episodes from this one random person who recorded them in Australia <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh yeah <laughs> Even places like this need to be cleaned so they're travel safe. Probably cleaned up most of that you for no no reason. Oh well. Does you only have to clean the guy on the golden mushroom? Oh my god. That's all I have to do. <laughs> well. Okay. <laughs> We cleaned out the entire island for no reason. Oh well. Ow. Oh heck. Oh heck. Alright. Probably have to jump from a higher spot. You can get to him. Oh, you told me this like eight minutes ago? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you uh, yuck yuck. I didn't see. My bad. It's on me. What I get for not paying attention. Fucking Alex. Oh, well. <laughs> I was about to look for a walkthrough to figure out what to do, but probably typed in Peanut Park Shine Sprites rather than Peanut Village. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so another. This isn't a movie, but it was part of a TV series. Um, do you know who Beatrix Potter is? Um, I don't think so. I feel like I've heard Do you know the story of Peter Rabbit? Yeah. She wrote that, basically. She wrote, like, the whole series and everything. You saved me! Thanks, a bundle! <laughs> oh my god. Well... So, um... She wrote, like, this whole series of books. Like, Jemima Puddle Duck and yada yada, all these other things. Um, but... It got made into a TV series. 
and um, where like the stories were animated and stuff. And one of them was. Um... Oh, it's Alex. I didn't realize that was that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie do. I, can't I am remember sorry. what the story was. <laughs> I can't remember what the story was, because I always used to think it was the tale of Tom Kitten, but it wasn't. It was the tale of this rat guy. But the alternative title was the Roly Poly Pudding. Roly the Jam Roly Poly Pudding. pudding. Because oh, I've heard... I've heard I, the... I thought that was food. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I heard uh, there was an episode of the Andy Griffith show very, very many years ago, and uh, this uh, British guy comes into town and ends up... Uh, basically being uh like a uh, nanny to to andy's son i forget his name opie yeah and at the very end as as the guy's leaving town uh he's telling he's telling like the uh, opie's grandma he's, he's become very fond of roly-poly pudding <laughs> <laughs> change his best Oh, I remember now. It was the tale of Samuel Whiskers. Um, because what the story was, and I legit thought I dreamed this because it was so bizarre, is that this little kitten called Tom Kitten, who's in this house, climbs up a chimney and falls into this kind of like bit like underneath the floorboards where two rats live, one of them being Samuel Whiskers. So what they do, this poor little baby kitten, they tie it up with rope and wrap him in pastry in order to eat him. Baby! Baby, kids. why? <laughs> why? Why, why the baby? Why would you do this? God, for me, like, I remember reading this as a kid and being like, what, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Make me a kitten jam roly poly pudding. <laughs> Why? Poor baby. Well, <laughs> you were <all> safe, thankfully. <laughs> well, they do not seem to like bathing. Good, drown them. Like the others. Yeah. Ah! You be a bad, you be a good dog. Don't do this. Ah. You're coming, you're gonna get a bath. You're gonna get a bath, sir. We're actually taking them to us like a bath. Definitely get one. This doesn't like it. Is your dog compliant when you give him the bath? Uh, I actually got a bath. Where the stars are. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Back at the beginning. Perfect. Must be a better way. Yep. Well, That's okay. the good thing about having a cat is that they clean themselves. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is how I do it. I just spray him oh. a little bit and he runs away. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, we'll Hi, Rugnar. Hey, honey, hey. Yes. Shiny Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny Chompymon. So I think maybe just ten more. 
ten more, ten more shines, and we get to fight Bowser. Oh, good. Yeah, not as many as, as in 64. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I think that's a well, shine. I think the, like, the size of the level is kind of accustomed to that. Yeah, right. Yeah, it takes a little longer to get more stars in this game. Good system the GameCube was. Got <laughs> I never have one. No, my first one was the um it was technically like the Nintendo DS, but in terms of like TV console it was the PS2. Yeah. Was the original Nintendo NES. Nice. We had a Charlie Brown game and Tails game. And also, of course, the first Super, first Super Mario Brothers and uh, yeah. Duck Hunt. Nice. Why? I remember having, um, I got this, like, package of Rayman games. It was, like, Rayman Revolution, Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc, and Rayman M, which was the fighting game. Oh. Yeah, I think it had, like, a different name for the PC, but it was called Rayman M, and it was, like, um, it was a really weird system. It was basically, you had racing in it. And then you also had like this sort of um, these different modes where it's like catch the lum, which was basically capture the flag, yeah. and then like you a fighting game where you get all these pickups and you would shoot them out of a plays and stuff. It was really good. Me too. I liked. Um, I feel like it was the second Rayman. Maybe that was Hoodlum Havoc. Uh, Third oh. one was Hoodlum Havoc. Okay, so it must have been. Oh, what, what was the second one? It was on 64. Uh, Rayman 2 The Great Escape. Yeah, that's the one I played. <laughs> enjoyed it. I tried playing it recently, and oof, the controls just are. <laughs> yeah. Just don't hold up. Like, I that's beat like it. The Rayman... Yeah. That's like the Rayman game that got the most ports. Because, like, I have Revolution, which was the one that was remade for PS2. Mm -hmm. But. Oh my god, the ports are so bad. Like, they did one for the 3DS and it was so lucky. <laughs> I remember the first time I played it, I, I had to rent it. And, uh, I, I stayed up, like, probably, like, two two nights way later than I should have to, <laughs> to, to finish it. And I... For some reason, I couldn't save it. Maybe it required an expansion card or something. So I just kept the system on. And then it, it, then it, I don't know if it was time to return it or if I was just dead tired. I got to the final boss and then I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. Uh, and then more recently, uh, like a year or two ago, I played through it again and beat it. But yeah, I got to the final boss and I was like, I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> not <Wow>. today. <laughs> uh -huh. I have a feeling you can help me out again. See the hotel, it's, uh, well... It's full of, uh, it's full of ghosts. So, well, could you maybe look, look, just come inside, please. I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be so modest. I will be right back. All right, I'm gonna exercise some ghosts. Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, 
Oh, you're a boob. Oh. And the other coin was fake! Oh, boo. What's the point? What am I doing? Hotel lobby secret. We already did this one, didn't we? Oh no, I died a lot. <laughs> That's what it was. Didn't uh, finish the minigame here. That's right. I failed. Back in the booze mouth. Hotel Alpio. Oh. Come on. Ugh. Tight spaces. Still sad that Rayman not only did not have special anniversary event dedicated, but also its director retired. Truly, this was the worst year for everything. It's not a great year. It's not. I'm not a fan of 2020. <sighs> Democracy being kneecapped, and also Rayman didn't get an anniversary. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. I'm sorry, I had to take the things out. Are you jumping on marshmallows? <laughs> uh, they're sand. These are melons, oh. <laughs> though. Watermelon. Most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It's a watermelon inside a watermelon. <laughs> God dang it! Why? <laughs> but, ooh, boo. but the mechanic, but the this mechanic allowed flood to burst water out like a shotgun. I remember that. Yeah. So they got rid of that one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they took away several fun mechanics from this pack. Uh, like the like the crazy fast long jump in 64. That's not available anymore. No speed runners. Thinking about other things of the PS2. 
one of them was one of my favourite games, the Muppets Party Cruise. Yay. And it was a, it was the Muppets, but it was like party game stuff. But basically, each mini game was one that was hosted by another Muppet. So the main characters that you could play as were Kermit, Miss Piggy, Gonzo, Fozzy, Animal, and Pepe. And then they had their own little mini games, but each of like the other Muppets also had their own mini games. Yeah. It was just a cool little party game thing. But the thing that pisses me off is that that game was supposed to establish the fact that they, those six are the six main Muppets. Yeah. And what did they do for every movie afterwards is they did Pepe. Because Pepe <laughs> only shows up for like one minute in all the future films from there. My favorite character was given an injustice when after he was established to be one of the main Muppets, poof, gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's um he was the little shrimp character and he was like um you're going to lose with the king prawn okay that kind of guy <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> well, which um which muppet films 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 have you seen i've only seen well i've seen uh the Treasure Island, not the Treasure Island, and I've seen uh, the one yeah. with um, isn't it Brendan Fraser? Uh, it was one of the more recent ones. <laughs> uh, where, yeah, there's uh, there's this one Muppet who is like, who has a brother who's a human. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean, because like Pepe wasn't like a original classic Muppet, so he's not in the films like Christmas Carol and Treasure Island and all that. But I think the first one he was in was the Wizard of Oz one. And um, <laughs> I can't believe you're fucking dead. But like he was on the Muppet Show, like the newer one that was hosted by like Clifford the Catfish thing. So he was kind of around in like the the 90s basically. So he was like a newer Muppet, but he was established as one of the main ones. Yeah. But in the new movie, he literally shows up for like a minute to coach these like other Muppets how to dance. And then you just don't see him for the rest of the film. Oh. <laughs> Poor Pepe. They did him dirty. They did him very dirty. They're, they're coming up here, they call him a shrimp, and I'm just there like, he's not a shrimp. He is a king prom. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious boxes have been spotted near the fountain by Delfino Plaza's Grand Gianta Statue. Central Switch. Yeah, it means those nozzles, I guess. <laughs> yeah, where, where, where. Oh. I'm gonna use the restroom. Right. Let's see. Why, hello there, everyone. But you see, this is the first time in long time I've actually been able to face you face to face. I hope you like my face. 
Anyways, my name is Cherry, as you know by now. I am here with my tiny little arms, and today we're going to be talking about Mario. Now, why is Mario not Russian? Mario should be called a mother country. I will refuse to acknowledge the fact he is from Brooklyn Place. I do not agree with that. I agree with only Russia. Russia forevermore. You see, here's the thing, if Mario was Russian, that little icon there, that wouldn't say water. Instead, it will say vodka. We would be spraying vodka everywhere, and that would probably set more things on fire. But we do not care, because we are from Russia. You see, the label on my back even says, made in Russia. That's how you know I am Russian. Hello. Yeah. Oh, hi there. Way to go. All right, so let's do this mini game again. <laughs> Seventh time's the charm, right? <laughs> oh, how's your eye doing, by the way? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, I feel like it's it's either stable or it's going down. Don't touch it. <laughs> well, it's not bad to touch it, honestly. Like. I kind of want to keep the oils in there fluid, not hard. Yeah. So, rubbing at the areas, in this case, not, not not a terrible thing for it. Who's? Main thing is to use warm compresses. Yeah. I really did it this morning once. Are those who's dehydrated or just high? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, cookie. Yeah, cookie. And maybe getting hydrated is uh is <laughs> hydrated. Hy yeah, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> oh yeah. That's the spot. <laughs> yuck yuck, obviously they're horny. <laughs> the the booze. <laughs> The well, I guess, I guess we, I guess they're engorged when we <laughs> spray them with water. <laughs> oh, great. Good start. <laughs> uh. distracted by the pony. <laughs> Mario is Italian, but like the original portrayal of him was the, he was Brooklyn Italian. Yeah. I hope you make the lots of spaghetti. <laughs> I love that he dreams about pasta in Mario 64. Somebody touch my spaghetti. <laughs> Somebody touch my spaghetti. <laughs> 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 These make me think of like dissolving sugar cubes. Yeah, could be. I mean, we're in a foodie place. <laughs> consider that. Someone is in this uh, house. <laughs> oh, the physics of that block stink. <laughs> Sometimes it's gonna be slippery, but sometimes it's not. Alright. Oh, more lives again. Oh, heck. It sucks because like like it's required for you to go in this order in this game. Yeah. What a step back. 64, you can tackle the stars in almost any order. Some of them were locked behind uh, like progression blocks, but 
after you got like the first one in an area that uh, all the other ones were pretty much unlocked. Like Womp's Fortress, for example. Once you yeah. beat the yeah, once you or Thwomp, Thwomp's Fortress. Once you beat the Thwomp, the uh, other ones you can do in any order. Can I punch it? No. Oh well. Okay, just go through the block. Fine. Eesh. Let's go this level. I'm going to do a different one. Yeah, there's sand. There's supposed to be sand. Somebody I'm looking through. The house. <laughs> I'm looking through um, a list of like kids' movies that are way darker than you realize, and one of the this one's true. Um, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah. Because for that one, and that was the thing that made me uncomfortable when I watched it, like when I was a kid, is the fact that they grow up in Narnia, they find their way back, and then they're just suddenly children again. Yeah. Like how jarring is that? <laughs> well, I guess we're doing this again. <laughs> Got that, and it's like when they go back, they realize like a thousand years have gone past. It's just like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. no, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> Hello, Yoshi egg. Oh my god, you're rich. Yeah. Cookie. Cookie. I guess I could get another star or another shine sprite from the two mm -hmm. Hi. Oh yeah, and they just they just up and kill Aslan as well. <laughs> I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. I'm craving some coconuts. No. Here's some coconuts. Coca-Cola. Oh, or would or mate, would you hand me the cocaine? <laughs> oh, they fell. Are you in love with the coco coco? Is that a commercial? I can't remember. It was on this site. Do you know who KSI is? Um I know the name. He's a British YouTuber who like started off doing just FIFA stuff, but now he does like you know his own like rap music and like boxing and all that kind of stuff. Like he did that called Massive Fight with Logan Paul. Oh, that's stuff. right. But um, somebody one time he did like this kind of because he used to do Q and A Sundays, and one time he did it where people could send in video questions instead. But his audience just completely trolled him and just sent him like you know stupid questions and like stupid stuff like that. And um, one of them was just this like random like 12 year old that just like started singing Are you in love with the coco? Coco? <laughs> I don't know what it was about but it was just weird. Hey, their original name. There you go. Sprite now. <laughs> Want some Sprite? Thanks, Sweetums. Oh, what a crappy prize. Thank you, though. <laughs> Gonna go to the theme park. <laughs> Dork Princess pointed out um, Toad's words, like VA sounds when he's talking to him. Pretty funny. <laughs> Where did the cookie jerk come from? Oh, um, there's sometimes when we're doing. When we do disco murder party meetings, there are times where like everyone gets so tired that we call it the morphine state. And when that happens, we all just start going, "Yeah, cookies." 
the Yoshi go around the secret. A potato swim around my room. <laughs> potatoes. Potatoes. Dark potatoes. Potatoes. the orange Yoshi on the right disappeared. What does it mean, mister? Huh? Huh? the only person in the world who likes Dorians. Yeah, they're gross. Pick the Dorians. See? He's not, he doesn't even <laughs> like them. He, he can pick up all the other fruits. Not the Dorians. Like, I get why people don't like the smell, but like I just think they're really sweet. They're so expensive. <laughs> Oh, so this one needs a uh, uh, coconut, got it. And then we can find uh, an orange fruit. All right, where are coconuts? Coconuts. Where's the fucking coconut boy? <laughs> oh, there it is. Hey. See, I can pick this up. Weird that it wouldn't let me pick up the durian. I can only pick it. <laughs> it's almost, it's like the creator's like, no one wants this. Well, we'll include it, but no one wants to eat this. I bet I could eat it with Yoshi then. I just can't do that. Who that? Oh, it's Juno! It's-a me! Mario! <laughs> oh, hey! <no. laughs> it's a Juno! <laughs> it's a Junio! Junio! <laughs> are, you doing the, are you doing the secret of the uh, Yoshi carousel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope, uh, not there. Uh, I got lucky. I think it was coconut. Wait, Coconut's go. green, that's what you catch him. But... Oh, it's banana. Uh, maybe. I think it's probably... No, it's green. Yeah, it's probably the pineapple, because it needs to be orange. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep, there we go. Oh, yeah. uh, this, uh, this secret is fun. <laughs> I mean, all the secrets are fun, but, you know, this one's fun. Oh, great. Uh, I failed all the times on the, uh, the secret of the Boo House, the Boo Mansion. Yeah. You know, I, I, that one only took that one, that one took a couple of tries. The secret that I had the most trouble, with, the secret that I had a lot of trouble with was Rico Harbor. The I, and like I don't think I've done that one spinning, yet. Okay, yeah. Uh, and like it's weird because that one's supposedly like this quintessential one. I mean, like they even put that one in Super Mario Galaxy too. Oh. Yeah, they like directly they like remastered it for Galaxy Two. <laughs> Woo, 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 woo. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dang it. It ate my jump. Sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't do it. it might you be the say, wireless. Ah! 
Why is it that uh, when you're climbing, they change the like kick punch mechanic to they they change the buttons depending on if you're hanging up uh, upside down or if you're uh, hanging on a wall sideways? Yeah, that's really that. weird. Like, it's, it's really like weird. The... It especially it screws with your muscle memory. Yeah, it's a terrible decision. Why why do that? A terrible decision, really. <laughs> Yeah, like leave it, leave it at Y, I, I think, yeah. for the punch. I usually, I associate Y with like your, with like your kicking and punching. I, I guess the, yeah. I guess the like the explanation that they have is like A is to like is for your upward movement, like jumping and stuff. So yeah. like, I guess that's why they justify doing that. Yeah. Or B, yeah, you know, my galaxy's, uh, not galaxy, sunshine's got uh, those new controls. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't played Galaxy on the collection yet. I, I, I kind of like. I'm kind of anticipating not having too many troubles with it, like other than the fact that like, you know, uh, other than like what, the troubles that I used to have as a kid. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to playing it. I haven't touched it yet either. Oh, I'm also hearing Rosalina's original voice. <laughs> ah. I didn't know they changed your voice actor. Yeah, it used to be Mercedes Rose. Now it's uh, now I believe I think he's voiced by Carrie Kane. Oh, nice. But they gave her a really high pitched voice. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh, 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 Mario, oh, 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 stop it! <laughs> <laughs> that made me angry. <sighs> that made me so angry. That made me angry. <laughs> Thanks. But like before, Rosalina had like this really, had like this really like fitting kind of like deep voice. Yeah. And now she is kind of like a diet peach voice. Yeah. Diet yeah. Peach. So like it'd be nice to hear Mercedes Rose's uh, voice acting again. Yeah. Because yeah. like her voice is really pretty. Like. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it through this. this way. Right now. There we go. <laughs> Right, uh, wait for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I like how the black ones are like. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Thankfully, thank thankfully the blue ones move pretty quickly. Yeah. Beep beep poop poop. 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 Beep I forgot to wax on my shoes before doing this, doing the lab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you jump, you're gonna bang your head or something. Uh, no, 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 Mario doesn't jump that high, much to our children. Oh, thank god, okay. Yeah, this, they wouldn't design it, they wouldn't design an impossible level. <laughs> it's so close. I mean, unless you're looking at, like, the red coins, of, uh, oh, red coins in the sea, from, uh, well, red coins in the water from Rico Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Alright. Uh, usually what I do to no! correct my... Oh, that was close. Usually what I do to correct my jumps and, like, make sure that I don't die is, like, crunch... I like to ground pound before when I, like, reach the, reach the position where I need to... Oh, careful. Yeah, I'll just wait. Ooh. Alright, now. There we go. That's yeah. cool. Oh. Wow, I can't believe Junior that works. Those nuts, cause... I can't believe that works is like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the ground pound tech is really good. Heck yeah. And you got it. Oh. Yeah. Right. Another thing to note don't, tr don't tr try not to catch Shadow Mario while you're on a slope because otherwise you'll fall through and it'll be weird. Yeah. I've fallen I mean, like, through the level, the... Uh, through the, <laughs> like, yeah, through the stage several times this playthrough. <laughs> oh, no. Heck. Mario Sunshine and being as jank as ever. I mean, like, <laughs> I, I, I mean like, I'm having fun, but, like, it's also, it's equal parts fun and frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I still consider this to be the hardest 3D Mario. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought you know, I thought the controls being a little bit tighter would make it easier, but no, apparently not. <laughs> Playing 64, yeah. Oh man, like, that little kind of U-turn step that he does when you're wanting to turn around if you have any momentum, as, uh, like, oh, on a, yeah, yeah it made, made me fall off st stages several times. Uh. Mm. But in this one, they seem to have corrected it. Episode 7. Slide up the stairs. Look at the penguin. Uh huh. Ha ha! 
I'm back, bitches! You know, as a kid, I never figured out how to beat them. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when he stops and like, you can't hear you're about to run into him. Uh-huh. Ow, oh, what? That, that way. That's a I'm just gonna hold the bow. Ah, my nose. Hold the Mario. 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 Yeah, Mario, hug the bow. Give me a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I ain't fooling. <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't trust him. It's some kind of a trick. There you go. Oh, darn it all. I'll remember this. Oh, I'll get that blue coin. From the merry go clam. There you go. There you go. Let me go around. What? Yeah, I think Noki Bay might be my least favorite level now. <laughs> It used to be Rico Harbor, but I I I kind of like Rico Harbor a little better this this time around. The music's nice. The music's a yeah. banger. Probably Chuck's in the game's too loud. It's too loud. What? Okay. Oh wow. Um, oh my God! Thank you so much, Kyle, for the uh, three month subscription. That is awesome. The game's too Kyle. loud. Kyle. I swear you subscribed like a week ago. How has this been three months? <laughs> there you go. A week ago. Hello, it it's time for months. Super Mario Sunshine yeah. ASMR. Well, hopefully this balances out. I turned the game volume down. Yeah. I'm boobada, All boobada, right. Boobada, boobada. That was too loud. Roller coaster balloons. <laughs> oh no, not this level. <laughs> oh boy. Balloons. Boink. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Have fun trying to aim. It looks like pigs. Pigs, oh my god. Yeah, GameCube aiming. You know what I, I like? To, you know what I like to? I, I like to do the strat where you like spray a little bit of water, spray a little bit of water in front of you, and then like dive. That's really fun to do. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. How did you survive this long without it? <laughs> yeah. I get, I get. I mean, like it's been. Right. It, this game is what? Twenty years, almost twenty years old now. Yeah. Eighteen. Yeah. 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 It's old enough to vote. Speaking of which, folks, go out and vote. Yes, please vote. Please We're actually vote. vote. Or if you're in the UK, think of voting. <laughs> American democracy is the <laughs> All right, there we go. A potato no, spinning around. Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't know that you could uh, shoot the birds. No, I didn't either. Yeah, that, that, that like that blue bird over there, that, that's carrying a blue coin. And so if you shoot enough times, you'll uh, with water. Uh, it'll drop a blue coin. Yeah. I don't know what the red bird. I don't know what the green bird's trying to do, but there's a red Ooh. bird in like I believe uh, one of the secret stages in Dolphino Plaza that does drop a uh, a red coin. So like you gotta be, like, look, look out for that. Cool. It's also in a stage where you don't have any place to refill your water. Uh, I think you talked to the guy. Oh come on. Yeah, yeah, you gotta talk oh, to the guy. Oh, this guy. Okay. Yeah. You've got to socialize. Oh, the opening of the roller coaster. <laughs> We've got a balloon popping water rocket game going on. Want to try? Yes. You can hit all the balloons with water rockets before the roller coaster makes three loops. You win. And then we'll give you a prize. Good luck. 
Okay. But if you don't, but if you fail, you die. <laughs> uh, whoops. I already wasted one. Uh, yeah, I think you, I think you, you have obtained a water rocket. Stop <laughs> fucking missing, you fucking bitch. <laughs> That's a pretty good flood, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, I think you need to work on your accuracy. I do. Alright, I think, uh... Oh, no, no, they should, they're going a straight line. I was like, okay, maybe... Make sure you don't waste it. Yeah, there we go. Uh... It's not my fault that the controls are so bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's part of the charm, no it isn't. No it isn't. <laughs> There's nothing charming about bad controls. Mario. What the fuck did what the fuck did you just say about me, you fucking bitch? <laughs> Actually, I'd argue that flood is one of the best controlling things in the game. Yeah. Which is why, which is why having the stages without, which is why the stages without flood, I mean, the secrets are terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was talking to Alex about this the other night because he was saying like he really hates Sunshine, and I was saying like I haven't seen Sunshine, but I think it's a good game. And he was going on about, like, the main problem is the controls are so floaty that when you don't have Flood, who helps with the floaty controls, that's when everything's so you messed up. Yeah. yeah. And not having the backflip, which I'm used to Mario having in all the Mario games. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and the long jump. It's, they, they, oh, yeah, they, took, long... they took so many backward steps with this. Uh, they took some good ones, but the, yeah, the taking away some of his moveset and also taking away the ability to tackle the stars in any order you want. Or mostly <laughs> any guess... order you want was a bad yeah. move. I guess in terms of like removing like stuff like the long jump and the back and the back and stuff, is that flood kind of makes the dungeons. But at the same yeah. time, when you take when you take flood away, Mario becomes a lame duck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Where's the last one? <laughs> it's right. Oh there it is. Do you, do you want there to is. fucking go? Don't make me step my fingers. <laughs> Gotcha. There we go. Popped all of the balloons. Amazing. Oh, first, first Amazing. try. Nice. I couldn't yes. get it first try. <laughs> There's Who more? Is? I don't want to do more. Don't make me do this. Well, unfortunately, Mario, we have no choice in the matter. <laughs> no, 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 no. They didn't make you do it again. They, they, they wouldn't do that. Mario Sunshine isn't that cruel. Oh, well, you would be surprised. They torture me offset. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the thing about Mario Sunshine. Some levels aren't as cruel as they, as they make out to be. Like the Pachinko yeah. level isn't, like the Pachinko level, it, it, okay, it, it's frustrating, but it's not like cruel frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went through it and I got frustrated, but like chalk it up to like a lot of the platforms being like, it's designed to be, it's designed to be jank. Yeah. It's, it's mm. like a lot of the platforms are like slippery, so that's the issue with the uh, uh, the Pachinko level. But mm. the freaking red coins in the water level from Rico Harbor. Oh god, I went on a Twitter tirade about this level like, the other day, <laughs> the other night. Uh, because, oh god. So, they make you keep the blooper. When you finish, when you finish, when you finish collecting all the red coins. Now, if you haven't done the blooper surfing, if any of you haven't done the blooper surfing yeah, level, oh it. god! If you hit a wall at, at, at a speed higher than your walking pace, you, you die. die instantly. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the issue with this: this the shine sprite sh spawns on a raised pier. Do you see the issue uh -huh. here? <laughs> oh no! And you, if you miss the pier. You either smack again. You either like stop completely against the pier, and, like stop moving it entirely, or if you're going too fast, you can sh overshoot the shine and then kill yourself on the on the floating logs that lead up to the pier. Yeah. I'd argue that getting the freaking <sighs> Actually grabbing the shine is harder than getting the red coins. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, the hardest part of the getting the red coins is, like, jumping over the two yachts that are, like, at the end of at the end of the last red coin. But, like, even that's, like, comparatively easy compared to trying to, compared to, like, getting back to the, uh, getting back to the shine. Oh, God. Yeah, there's some, there's some real jankiness in this, in this game. Totally safe, guys. Totally safe. Okay. No, thank you all. <laughs> that one is. 
Hello, and welcome to my new YouTube series, Flood Judges Your Life Choices. Mario, what the fuck were you thinking coming to this island? I feel you made a very grave mistake. <laughs> Isn't that my fault that I got the frame for a crime I didn't commit? I don't know. I just wanted the vacation. Well, look what that cost you. <laughs> oh, this is what you get for going on break. Heroes never rest. <laughs> Just ask the Powerpuff <laughs> Girls. God, that is, that is, that is a really good one. Like, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't even. Oh, there we go. That's it's funny doing a nasally voice. Scoot up, scoot up, yeah. Oh, I why? Oh! <laughs> Why is that a function? Why know. is that a thing? <laughs> I was about to say I am at your assistance, but it appears you are a lost cause. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. That's what it feels like. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here for sassy flood. <laughs> <laughs> flood sass. Ugh, can't even read it. There we go. Ugh. God, they don't even give you an in the visual indicator that the thing is gonna fall over. Like, at least have it flash red or something. Yeah. yeah. And I guess the name is from 2002. Oh, no, they do. They, oh, no, 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 they, they do show it. They give it a little bit, yeah. Alright, I gotta remember not to press Y. There we go. <laughs> okay, so what's what am I doing? I think you get the Yoshi. Yeah, I think so. Wherever it is. Yoshi! <laughs> Wahoo! We'll probably end up beating this tomorrow. And we have about 20 more minutes to can play today, sadly. We've got a vocal lesson at 1.30. Ooh! Yeah. Where's the Yoshi? Where are you, Yoshi? It showed us kind of in the beginning, but not directly. Also, I forgot where it was. So. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played this. I haven't played this level yet because the Il Piantissimo level in this uh, in this world is uh, awful. Oh, it's not like I feel like with Il Piantissimo, just just keep doing like your belly run. Just just See, run on your I belly. I tried that. I tried that, but then I got to the tree, and then I started having problems. Oh yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> do it up the tree. Just run regular up the tree. Yeah, I mean, like at that point, you should probably have a size to believe. But here's the problem. I yeah. <laughs> So I was like, I was like, panic, panic, panic. He kills me if I lose. Panic. <laughs> and I tried belly slot, and I tried belly flopping up the tree, and then I just died the normal way. Yeah. All right, Yoshi. Where? It is okay. Death is inevitable. Uh huh. Oh no, Yoshi. I am. Oh, there it is. I am so the angel okay. of death. <laughs> oh, he's, he's in the beginning. Jeez. Okay, well, the fruits are. We didn't have to go through that whole ordeal of, uh, of the mushrooms. Whoops. At the very least, you can just go back down that grate. Yeah, just need to get the. Come on. Boop. <laughs> Come on, just a will, pussy. So the first time I entered Pianta Village, I made the mistake of, of belly flopping onto the bridge. Now, yeah. the collision in Super Mario Sunshine is very, uh, is, is questionable at times. Oh yeah. So, what happened was, I slid, and then I fell through the, uh, I fell through the slats on the bridge. Dang it. Yeah, uh, I believe you just go down the, no, Yoshi can't, Yoshi cannot, uh, climb. Today. That's right, he can't climb. Okay, I guess we're going down the mushrooms. You got some good practice. Yeah, that's true. Uh, is there, a way to get down there, there we go. Unfortunately, you can't cheese the uh, cheese the flutter with the trick from Mario Galaxy 2. What's the trick from that one? Uh, you can, okay, so apparently, due to like an issue with the timing, you can float in, you can float infinitely and get infinite airtime in the ocean. Uh, with Mario yeah. See, this is the kind of jank that works in your favor. Yeah, that's a good kind of jank. <laughs> that is the good kind of jank. <laughs> there we go. Yoshi is dead to me. Oh no, I am being kidnapped for making shit on Yoshi. <laughs> Welcome back, Yug. I can't believe, I can't believe Flood is... The... Oh no, oh, no is that a level. Chuck's... The oh. Chucksters! The Chucksters! Chucksters. <laughs> oh, I'm a Chuckster! God dang it. 
Hope yeah, I hope, hope those extra life mushrooms came in handy. <laughs> I'm a chuckster. Bye bye. Ah! <laughs> it's a you have to talk I to them in the right position. Yeah, you gotta talk to them in the right direction. Otherwise, they're gonna just yeet you at the edge. <sighs> see, I would like to call this a socializing experiment. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hey, can you chuck me at that green mushroom? Uh, howdy, I'm a chuckster. You better be careful when speaking to powerful piantas. Some will chuck you straight up, but most chuck you backward. When it comes to tossing folk, I'm, well, I'm a chuckster! Well... <laughs> Rip. Hell. I think, yeah. Oh, so he does warn you, okay. Thank you. What, what the heck am I supposed to do with this one? Can you throw me up? Uh, yeah, I, I think, think he just, yeah. Up thrower. Okay. Uh, He's an up chucker. <laughs> I'm a chuckster! Yeah. There right. you go. Cool. Yeah, so, so, so like, he, 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 yeah. Whereas the other one threw you in a huge arc. Oh! <laughs> my cheeks just clenched! Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, I gotta pull back, I guess. Here. Ah, not that much. Okay. It's, it's time to work out those cheeks. <laughs> Alright. They, I will say it's it. I, I will. I will say that to be fair, they do tell you that the that Pianta does tell you that the chucks are chucks in yeah. the opposite direction. Yeah. So like it's not as it's not as like cruel as it is, but like still uh, positioning yourself in Mario Sunshine is kind of difficult. Yeah. It, okay, it's not gonna let me have it. I've touched it three times. What the fuck? <laughs> like so I dumb. said earlier, collision in Super Mario Sunshine is jank. Yeah, it is. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna wait. A big chuckster got a... Be careful not to overshoot it, however. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm do just a bit gonna... Of a, right here. Do a bit of a... Yeah. An indicator of where to put him. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Yeah, perfect. Ooh, nice. Alright, I need to look. Up there? Okay. Bada bum bada bow, girl. Stop being such a scrub lord. Higher, higher. Oh my god, oh! suck! <laughs> Sucks What the fuck did I just say? I said higher, not lower, which is where you are going right now. <laughs> so much for the science telling you where to go, am I right? Mm -hmm. where, where, to, where to get the chuck, where to get chuck oh, from. That's so dumb. I hate that. Do you want me to dislike uh... your game? Nintendo, why do you do this? <laughs> the cataclysms in Mario you. Galaxy 2 were a lot more, uh, were a lot more nuanced. The what? Yeah. What were they called? Uh, Cataclysms. Uh, oh yeah, from, yeah. Yeah, the guys from Gelato Beach, they reappear in uh, Mario Galaxy 2. Maybe you have to spin when you're up there. Oh, there we go! No, nice! It's just got yeah, a tiny go. mushroom hitbox. God. <laughs> Alright, so we know we know how to get this one. So like I guess get the other guy a little bit, a little bit further back. Don't hold back! <laughs> yeah, a little bit further back. Okay. Yeah, like I think from I think from the point where he like uh <laughs> nice spin. Higher and higher. Ah! Alright, I think we made it. Nice. Okay, cool. Stew's over here. Stew. Uh, Stew. Stew? Why are you making Low this kind of thing? <laughs> they're, in, they're infinite stews. Oh, okay. Fine. We are infinite I, stews. I okay, so it's that way. Consume Mario. I don't want to. It's not uh -huh. Careful not to work. Jump in there. You're gonna, you're gonna be right back where you started. What? Go, 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 go. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the top boom, but it's. It yeah, because like, like, you still got that momentum from, like. It's not very It sucks. Like, they. The game's like, you have to, have to slow down to a standstill to talk. Thank you! Oh, That's oh, just what I wanted. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Is someone angry? <laughs> uh -huh. oh. This is enraging. 
Well, at the very least, there's a. Uh, at the very least, that was the second to last platform, so you know what to do now. Yeah. It's, that's a question of whether the Chucksters will allow it. You are yeah, at yeah. the mercy <laughs> of these of these leading Piantas. I wonder if I can just bounce on his head to get high enough. <coughs> and, Sorry. Nah, uh, bummer. <coughs> <coughs> It's eating time. Oh, it. I saw him clip into the mushroom. Nah, that, was my, that was just off. I'm a chuckster, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> Chucky. You're wearing a fedora and a grass skirt. There we go. There we go. This is like the angriest I've ever seen. <laughs> Sucks. I'm not making this fun. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I lived. I I'm lived. not having fun on my video game. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like oh. this little My cheeks again. just clenched again. Oh god. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Alright, I guess I'll try to talk to ASAP before, like, the stews get too cool. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seems about right. Go, 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 go! Okay! Alright, so that's No pressure, you can do this. What is that? What? Where are you supposed go to go? Uh, he, he, he does walk in a circle, so... <laughs> you just gotta just, just aim for him. So when he gets to the crack, just, just face the face the screen. Like, you have a wide enough area, you have a wide enough window there that you can, like, slide right on in as long as... Um... To the crack. Oh, come on, dude. Actually, hold on, is the, is the crack? I feel That's like it would... You have the crack still in you. Uh oh Okay, so it's not a oh. thing. Oh, yes. we did the chuckster. Oh my god! We got the chuckster yes. stuff. We got the chuckster giant. Holy shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Done. Uh, no more of that. Five left. No more chucksters. Mother no chucksters. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I was I was afraid that um that gap would have like fall made me fall off, but thankfully the, it wasn't a uh, fall off spot. I was aiming for the slopes. And back we go! <laughs> oh, yep. Freedom! Pianta's in need! Unyeet. Hmm. Unyeet. <laughs> oh no, it's the fire explosion again. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! I just went away for a bit and now look! I can't believe it. Another fine mess, and it's a doozy. Some of the villagers are trapped in that burning ooze. And I just finished evacuating everyone a little while back. What in the world is happening? I think I might just start crying. I'm sorry to trouble you time after time, but please, <coughs> could you find the time to help us out again? Ten villagers are trapped in the slime. You must hurry. Oh, Help, I my face is melting off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how come you didn't fall from the slats? I don't know. I didn't get the jank that time, I guess. There you go. Only ten, huh? Okay. <laughs> Why are you in a time limit? <laughs> I don't know. Because they're gonna die. Burning deep and they're probably gonna die. <laughs> yeah, they can't hold their breath that long. I mean, like, they can, probably, but, like, this is, like, fire. This is that fire. Come on. Clean up. There we go. No, the, the cleanup level on Sour and Beach was not particularly bad. What I did yeah. was, I, uh, what I did was, like, I, I clicked R, ZR over and over again so that Mario would, like, spray where he walked. Uh -huh. I'll be right back. But, so that way I didn't have to worry about anything. I can just go home to the beach without having to worry. Yeah. That's the way to do it. It's also how I managed to like beat Phantom Mana. Because like, uh, so when you when you get the when the, when Phantom Mana like you spam the little guys, they go all over the place. Yeah. Like they they mess up the beach really badly. Yeah. So like, if you're out of water, you're out of luck. You know? Yeah, I appreciate that they eventually will come to you. That was a yeah. nice touch. 
I didn't know, see, I didn't know that at first, so I just, I, just, I spent my time chasing them around, because then, like, not, tr trying not to worry about the larger Phantom Mantis. Yeah. Because, like, they were huge, and, uh, I didn't want more tiny ones to be scram scrambling around the beach, like, making a mess everywhere. Yeah. But as it turns out, they, they come to you once you, oh, you want to uh, call up, so, uh, Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're done. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to the mayor again. And with 27 seconds to spare, nice. A minute and 27 seconds. Oh, yeah, a minute and 27 seconds. Now, it's let's not fall off the bridge. You're the savior of Pianta Village. We're in your debt. As a reward, please take this. I thought they were your criminals. I know, right? Thank you, criminal. For the crime I didn't do. I don't deserve this, but all right. I'm a good guy. I'm a Mario. Uh huh. I can turn in 20 coins and get some shines. Let's go talk to Tom Nook. Did this come out? This came out after uh, the first Animal Crossing, right? I think Animal Crossing was 2001. Okay, so yeah, a year after. The look of Animal Crossing makes me think it was originally intended for 64. Because like, it was, okay, it was. yeah, it was is very polygonal compared to this and Wind Waker. Yeah, yeah uh, originally it was like Animal Forest for like. I think for a lot, I think a lot of like, since the Nintendo 64's later years had a bit of messy development next to Nintendo 64 GD. Yeah. Which was an attachment they tried to make for the Nintendo 64, but it didn't sell super well. Which is a which is a darn shame because it allowed them to like patch up like a few games with Mario 64 and like all that stuff. Yeah. Is it? It's just 60 shine sprites to fight Bowser, right? Or 50? Uh, it's uh, it's do episode seven of every world. Oh, okay. So good. I'm gonna have plenty of time uh, tomorrow. I was I was getting worried. I was like, oh, I'm already almost at 50, and I gotta leave. Tomorrow's stream is gonna be like 30 minutes. So no, I got plenty. Yeah, you got plenty, plenty to do. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to do in this game. Make it do all the levels, except for the last one. Alrighty. Although the waterfall level and uh, the waterfall level and uh, the water beat too challenging. The most frustrating part is like getting a time to cataplex and having it not explode out of early. Yeah. Yeah, I still haven't done that one. Uh, hotel lobby secret. Boo. This one. This uh, one. I think I've died ten times on it now. I, I, the last time I got a game over was I fell through like the moving block. Like it just phased through. Jank. Uh, <laughs> Yay, I made it. Nope. Nope says the game. There was another secret that was torture. Yeah. Was you have lost the game. Well, it, was, it wasn't the casino. But getting to the casino secret was harder than the casino secret itself. Yeah. Mm. Uh, was it? No, it was Bianco Hills. It was Bianco Hills that the one that had the yeah. secret that I never Yeah. Oh my god, the horny booze! Yeah. <laughs> the horny, horny booze? I'm sorry, oh. what? That's what we've described yeah. them as. Look at their face. Look at their half lidded stare as they get engorged. <laughs> I didn't know that the boos were into that. <laughs> <laughs> they're into some freaky stuff. I mean, they're ghosts. They are freaky. <laughs> yeah, they're your ghosts. They're freaky. And they're, they're into that, too? <laughs> they, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Bye, bitch. They're, they're into blocking, I guess. That's a boo. It must be a boo thing. Oh, my fucking god, this level again. <laughs> Okay, but you can get a one up if you uh if you do hit the first block. So uh, yeah. So you should you should have plenty of time. 
<laughs> the first block. Yeah, uh, hold on. Uh, go back down. Uh, there's a way to get back up, so hang with it. So, like, if you hit the first block, like, to your right, the one on the right, the right most, uh, the right okay. most block. I think it does, it's, it's, it gets hit the one on the oh, There we go. That's awesome. Thank you. And then so you can just hit the other block on the wall. That's block. super helpful. Thank you. Okay. Yay! Oh! <laughs> I needed it immediately. <laughs> Well, now you know, so like, you don't, you don't have to get it. One thing I will say about Sunshine is that I'm super glad that they give you the one-ups, like, super early, like, that are that easy to access, like, especially on the other ones. Yeah. Because, so like, oh god, these secrets, these secrets are torture. They are. Yeah. I also like how the one-ups, like, heal all your health. They, oh yeah, yeah, that is nice. I didn't even notice. Oh, I hate this, hate this, hate this. What are these if guys called? Moving, uh, I think they're, they're still, they are a member of the Stew family. Let me check in Mario. Uh, the Stew, they stupid. <laughs> stupid well, at ass. The, for some reason, the slimy guys are also called Swoop, they're called Swoop and Stew. Swoop and Stew. But, uh... Uh, I'm not like looking for Stew from uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns from Mario. Yeah, Stroll and Stew. Okay, so Stroll and Stew is the uh, is the walking form. Swoop and Stew is the Gooby form. Gooby. Hate this. Hate this. Hate this. <laughs> I hate I hate the gears because like. You never know when they when it transitions from like just slidey, yeah. Yeah, just like yeah. Go 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 go! Great! No! <laughs> <laughs> what I like to do on these levels is I like to I like to play them with a top down camera. Yeah, I'll have to especially do that. Especially when then. like the, especially when the when the platforming gets really finicky, like especially from yeah. the top part with the with the with the sand. I got through this level by doing the uh, by doing top down. Cause, like, I, I, Cause then you don't have to rely so much on your like your depth perception to go forward, yeah. so much as like go upward. And there's not a lot of risk going upward in these levels, thankfully. Stewie, stewie, stew, 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 stew. stew. It, it, literally, they're just called the wings stewing, strolling stews. Yeah. <laughs> a pretty apt name considering that they're strolling stews, but they have wings. <laughs> If the stroll and stew went to Buffalo Wild Wings, that's what you get. <laughs> Wing and stew. Yeah. Buffalo Wild Stews. Yeah. That's what you call them when they're on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the ones that are on fire are called Smolder and Stews, but you know, I like I like Buffalo Wild Wings stew better. <laughs> All right, this one I feel like I need my side camera. <laughs> Actually, I might want to, you might want to use the back camera for this one, because like the, the this yeah the sand platform is a little bit narrower than the gear platform. Yeah. <clears throat> or at least your three fourths camera. Yeah. Although oh okay uh yeah just like just like oh no oh my no, god no, uh, he slips on the freaking oh just sometimes uh, it gets slippery even when it's almost uh, fully level. Oh. Stupid gears. I don't like them. Yes. Stupid ass. Stupid. Freaking gears. How do they work? Uh -huh. We got like, like one more chance before we have to go. All right. I'm gonna go to commit some crimes. All right. Toronto Bert. So <laughs> they do look like Ronald Bert. <laughs> Okay, so there's another variant called Swipe and Stew uh, in, that steals Mario's cap, and apparently the sun on El Ayo Delfino is just so hot, and Mario is so pasty white that he loses health from having, from not having his hat. You're like, that's accurate. Mario's getting a Mario's getting a sunburn. Oh no, I'm slowly getting skin cancer. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> huh? Ah! Yeah, that's right, folks. Cool. You can, you can, you can, you can die of that in this game. Oh God, I hate so, this. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Cancer is a very serious disease, folks. Uh... <laughs> Check on your loved ones and always make sure that, like, and try to like donate to as many uh, organizations that. Uh, Oh. oh! No! 
This is stupid! <laughs> oh. So unfair. Holy shit. You're so close. Alright, last one. Oh, you're doing it again? Okay. No, <laughs> uh, this is mine. This is your nemesis. The final countdown. <clears throat> Yeah, so Mario will die. Mario can die of sunstroke in this game. <laughs> Make sure to drink water when you're outside. <laughs> Super Mario sunstroke! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a getting hot in here. I'm a getting sunstroke. <laughs> I'm a tired. I'm a tired. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a tired. Have you seen that video of like Mario turning into a tire? <laughs> I'm a tire. <laughs> yeah. I'm a tire. <laughs> 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 okay. All right, Bronto Bird. All right, you stupid gear. Stupid ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all holding hands. This is the final push. <laughs> This is this is taking me back to when I played this level uh, like a couple days ago. I, I'm getting the I'm getting the cheek clenching. Oh, from that's it. That's... He just slides. Uh... He slides a lot. Yeah. I hate it. Uh... All right, this is all I got time for. So <laughs> I'll try to finish this tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow. All right. Thank y'all for uh, commentating with me. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. You're welcome. You're right. Drink water when you're outside. <laughs> yeah. Like me. Yeah. Stay hi hydrate or dihydrate. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.